<laughs> where do we even what, what do we even talk about with plasma six so with the alpha coming out like what i i know that there's been like this massive uptick nate wrote about this in a recent blog post this massive uptick in uh bug reports because now it's just in the hands of users like people are actually like trying it out it's not just kd developers who were writing it and working on it themselves now those like really dedicated kde users are also getting involved with that so have you seen much initial reaction outside of obviously the bug reporting like have people obviously it's still a small group of people that are doing it like you know you're not having you know fedora ship it just yet so it's still that small group but like what has that initial reaction sort of been like so regarding bug reports, I haven't, this is probably my fault, but I haven't been following bug reports at all, actually. Fair enough, fair enough. Because uh, now that actually there's Blue Systems, the company that sponsors my work, I'm just uh, waiting for Nate Graham that was here like a couple of episodes ago mm. to tell me which bugs to fix. And then right. I just do what it tells me. I'm not even checking the, I should do that. <laughs> I shouldn't just rely on being told what to do, but I haven't like looked at that at all, especially because, yes, there's a lot of new bugs being reported and I'm not able to go through all of them. Mm-hmm. And regarding instead, like outside of that, actual reactions, I've not seen many. And mm-hmm. I think that's a good sign because in promo, because I'm also part of like the promotion of the project, we really tried not to talk about what's new yet. The alpha release was very technical and we willfully actually removed the stuff that uh, told the users what was new Mm -hmm. because we didn't want yet the videos, the reactions and things that usually I do. So I haven't seen much of a reaction yet, probably with the beta and with the definitive list of uh, features that's going to change. But Mm -hmm. I would still like to see the big news being closer to release, which is going to be January, February. So not much of a reaction I have seen yet, but that's going to (laughs) come. So when is the feature freeze happening? Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. I don't remember it now. It's very close. <laughs> it's in a, in a few days. If, I think uh, the I've got hard the, one is like... I've got the schedule open right now. If I'm reading it correctly, it's November 22nd. If that's That sounds right. Tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? No, it's in two it's days. It's tomorrow for me, So <laughs> I'm in the future. That, that's very close. <laughs> yeah. Now you're giving me uh, anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that's the the soft feature freeze. So mm-hmm. then there's the hard one, which is much, you know, don't uh, merge anything after that. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's on the 29th. Is that correct? You have mm. the info. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I I can send you the link right now. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the exact date on here. Um, but I also could might... be something like that. Yeah. Okay. So it's but yes yeah yeah it's still a little bit away but it's getting very very close. <laughs> yep. I I I'm excited to see what happens. Like I I've been saying to uh, I've been saying recently that I probably will like properly try out uh, Plasma when I I went when six comes out, and that'll be. Oh, okay. It was going to be a whole new experience for me, but I have this I have this Steam Deck thing here, and I've been using desktop well, mode a bit. If you grab yours, I've got to grab mine. Where is it? Um, so it's not an entirely new experience, but I've not, like, desktop mode on here, I've just been, you know, I've opened up Discover, I've installed PCSX2, I open it. Like, I don't, I haven't been doing this, like, as like proper computing on here it's more of just like go into desktop mode to open an application so actually like properly daily driving plasma that's going to be a very new experience when um when i february yes the end of february rolls around yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see what happens it's gonna be probably still a bit buggy. The very first release of the I very first no day, doubts. even though we have like, <laughs> even though we have three months of just debugging right now uh, ahead of us, it's still you know something is gonna get through with yeah. this amount of changes. So just 
keep that in mind. I'm well, just going to mention that. <laughs> I was looking at the bug tracker and there was one... Re like, this is how important, like, this beta testing, alpha testing phase is. There was a user running a Haswell CPU who, for some... I didn't properly read the bug report, but it was causing the desktop to crash. There was some, like, weird OpenGL issue and it was just crashing the desktop. If the bug got fixed... Uh, they worked out what the problem was really quickly, but like weird things like that are the things that you're not going to notice until some user tries around. Like none of the developers are running a Haswell CPU. Like these are things that you need to get it in the hands of users to properly see what's going to happen. There's going to be users that like, you know, mess around with some really obscure tablet and the tablet configuration tool just doesn't work for it. Or they're going to have some like weird GPU that nobody even supports anymore these are the all they're gonna run uh, one one i did see was um someone was using the ocular snap and it didn't have like the printer showing up it's like random things like that <laughs> those are the thing th those are the it, things that are gonna just... sh show up it has happened to me that sometimes the users are like smarter than us because Sometimes they think of like use cases that I completely missed. Mm -hmm. I, I recently implemented um, a thing for the panel, which is mm -hmm. called fit content, mm -hmm. so that it always is the same size as the content yeah. within the panel, which is a nice thing if you want like a doc. Mm -hmm. And I just implemented the thing. I, I was like, this is ready. This is working. Everything is fine. And then I get a bug, bug report of a user that actually removed all the uh, widgets inside the, of the panel so mm -hmm. that the panel was empty and right. then set the panel to fit to content and the plasma crashed <laughs> and didn't even boot b and I was like of how did I not think of this like, mm -hmm. this is so obvious but I didn't, I didn't even think well when you write the code you're obviously th this is why it's important to have that outside opinion because you write the code with the intention of it being good like you're not writing code that you're you know is buggy because you wouldn't have wrote, wrote the code if that was the case. So you need like, even if it's just like one other person, someone needs to look at that code and just try some weird, even if it's not a weird, like that's a pretty normal edge case and just see what <laughs> happens. Yeah, no, we, all of our merge requests are mm -hmm. uh, reviewed by at mm -hmm. least a couple of people. Yeah, uh, yeah. All of mine, at least. <laughs> Maybe there's some core developer who can do whatever they want. But sure. uh, yeah, usually there's a good amount of review. But mm -hmm. of course, still, you're going to get these yeah. edge cases that aren't that edge case, but we just didn't think of them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yes, the, there are reviews. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that, that's why... Uh, even though you were saying before we started recording, like three months you feel is like a, a long, long time to be doing bug testing. Like, yeah, that... it's important. <laughs> it's it's very important, especially if you consider, look, we let's we consider the history of Plasma. Like, it's it's had releases. Like, obviously everyone's gonna go back, go back to um. Obviously you went around at that point, but KD four. 4 was a notorious design. 4 is the reason why Trinity exists. Like, it was a nightmare of a release, and nobody wants that to happen again. Yeah, in fact, I do know of a developer who told, told me that uh, the switch from KD3 to KD4 is what got him involved in the project. Like, it was such a messy release that they thought, okay, I'm just going to help them out here. <laughs> So that is true, and we are trying to do something much different, uh, mm -hmm. very uh, incremental and yeah, stable yeah. release. We are not changing that much, even though we are. Sure. But the idea was not to change that much, so that should should be better this time. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously changing. Promises, but, uh... mm -hmm. Obviously, changing the toolkit is going to be like a massive change, no matter what you do, but it's not like a whole new. Like I look at what Plasma Five is now and i look at plasma 6 and if you show me like a screenshot side by side they're like very similar it's not like there's a whole fundamental redesign of what the system is going to be it's it's very much building upon what's been done over the past 10 years and then making it better rather than saying okay all of that's great but we're doing this new thing now <laughs> 